Hey, Jens here. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can photograph snowflakes. But before we're going to start, we need to answer one very important question. And that is, what is actually the size of a snowflake? And the answer is between one millimeter and 10 millimeter. In the last couple of weeks here in Germany, the snowflakes ranged about one millimeter to 1.5 millimeter, which is really a problem. Let's take, for example, this one-to-one -one magnification macro lens. When you put this on a full frame body, the width of your image will be 36 millimeter. So we need a lot more magnification to get a good image. So the solution might be go and buy a five to one magnification macro lens. But if you don't have one and you don't want to invest so much money into a high magnification macro lens, you can use the one to one in combination, for example, with the Raynox DCR250, which almost doubles the magnification. This works great for the 10 millimeter snowflakes, but when you only discover the small ones, which yeah, were around one or two millimeter, this is not enough. You need a macro lens, which got at least two to one magnification, like the 60 millimeter of Lauer here, in combination with the Raynox DCR250 or extension tubes. To get more contrast in the image, I'd recommend to use a dark background. For example, you could use a black t-shirt and wait till the snowflakes fall onto it. And what also works really great is a glass table or a black plexiglass plate. My next tip sounds pretty simple, but it will save you a lot of time. When you discover the perfect snowflake and you use your high magnification lens, it can be very difficult to find the snowflake on your sensor. So I'd recommend to use a small sharp item and put it below the snowflake you want to take the picture. So then it will be very easy to find the snowflake and take the image. I do recommend to use a tripod, especially when you think of doing focus stacking or just closing down the aperture to get more field of depth. But when you want to go handheld or you don't have a tripod and you just discover the perfect snowflake, I have a tip for you to stabilize the camera and take a pretty good image with a longer exposure time and low ISO. You grab your camera and the good thing is that the focusing distance will be around one or two fingers. So you can use your fingers, put your camera onto the fingers and use them to stabilize and focus. What about lighting? When you think of using a flash, you may run into this problem. When you just use an ordinary flash and you focus very close, the lens will cover the snowflake and it will not work. Therefore, you can attach a flash diffuser to your lens, for example, so that the light is coming from the top of your lens or just use a ring flash. But when you use the ring flash, get sure to turn off one side of the ring flash. Why? Because probably the snowflake will become transparent. And the reason is because the direction of light is everything. Let's have a look on this footage where I've just adjusted the direction of light a little bit and see what happens. And my last tip for you is be patient. Taking images of snowflakes is highly addictive. I've taken images for hours every day. I found snowflakes outside and yeah, maybe there are just a few good images a day, but it is worth it. It is so much fun. So when you got the chance and you have a high magnification setup, go out and try your best. Thanks for watching, have a good day. And if you have any questions or problems, feel free to leave a comment below and I'm gonna help you to get a good image.